Hey, how are you? Good. Are you ready? I am. Jasmine, where are you calling me from? Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. How old were you? I am 42. 42? Yes. Do you have any kids? I do. I have three. My oldest son is 20. My uh, middle daughter is 12. And I have a nine going on 10-year-old tomorrow who was so excited to have me on your program. <laughs> <laughs> she's standing in the background talking about the mommy are you going on there tonight because um you got to tell her what you want okay <laughs> okay mommy just said she's ready for you to find her a stepdaddy <laughs> apparently <laughs> so are your kids by the same man they are not no how many men uh three three have you ever been married i have not i've been proposed to three times but i have not been married why didn't you get married to all three of the men that proposed to you? One, uh, we were too young. The second one um, found out uh, it was just not going to work. The third one, he was just a compulsive. He is a compulsive liar. So, Were these your children's dads? Yes. Okay. 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 What do you do for a living, Jasmine? I am a creator and designer for a Greek paraphernalia. So I... Um, well, Greek paraphernalia, small businesses, as well as schools. So I currently have licensing with my sorority, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, um, also Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, and Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. So Jasmine, Houston, Texas, 42. My, oh, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. Pisces. Let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for? I am looking for a tall, um, my, my norm is tall, dark, and handsome with white teeth. So I really never had anything outside of that. However, that's, uh, that, that's what got me here now. <laughs> so uh, I still want tall, um, and that's for me, 6'4", taller. Um, I would prefer dark, but, you know, any complexion or, is fine. Um, okay, we're definitely. having audio issues. I don't know what's happening tonight, y'all. Right, sounds better. Someone says better, better, better. All right. <laughs> Let's try. Let me see. Don't tell me. So we got Jasmine Houston, Texas, um, 42 Pisces, mom to three by three men, never married. She creates and designs. What kind of man are you looking for? Tall, um, six, four or taller. Um, someone who... Um, who's honest, of course. So I want, I don't want any liars. Um, I would prefer someone in the Houston area. However, I do travel a lot with my business. Um, and I do travel back and forth to Illinois and Texas quite a bit as well, because I still have a home in Illinois. So um, I would still prefer somebody local though. Someone local, okay. What are your deal breakers? Um. Definitely a liar, number one. Let's start with that. <laughs> um, number two. Um, okay, real quick. I missed it, but all the cousins peeped it. Did you say 6'4 or taller? I absolutely did. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we have to be 6'4 or taller. All your children's dads were 6'4 or taller. No, not all of them, but uh, what was it? Uh, well, one was one was six two, one was six four or six five, and the other one was about uh, five eleven, five twelve. But I prefer. Okay, how, how, how tall are you, Jasmine? Okay, wait a minute. Don't look. Don't don't interrogate me. No, I'm, I'm five five and a half. Okay, <laughs> five five and a half, six four yeah. and taller. So a man that was six feet, he wouldn't have a chance with you. Not that he wouldn't have a chance. Um, I, I would definitely. You know what? I would I would go for six feet or taller, preferably six four or taller. But I would definitely talk to somebody six four or taller if he had everything else going for him. Absolutely. Okay, six four or taller. Okay, keep going. Um, of course, somebody honest. I would love somebody who. Um, now you don't have to be a pastor or a preacher, but I would love somebody who actually believes in a higher being and God, or you know, um, definitely. It has some type of Christian base. Base. Um, I want somebody who enjoys to travel. I don't care if he has kids or not. Um, I would prefer nobody with more than four kids. 
Um, I am, although my baby will act up, but I am still open to having kids. Uh, my family is quite fertile, so <laughs> I'm still open to at least having one more. Um, for my husband only, I'm not going to have any more kids out of wedlock. Um, what else? Um, definitely a job. Uh, I would prefer a um, hundred thousand or more for him to make. Um, and you know, I need somebody who who's 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 willing to actually date and get to know me, and me get to know him. Um, and if he does have kids, if he's not active in his kids' lives, he's not for me. So any man, if you are out there, if you are not active in your children's lives, then I, you are not the man for me. Because if you can't be active in your own kids' lives, and I don't care what the circumstances is, it's an excuse, then you definitely can't be active in my kids' lives. So that's, that's a huge deal breaker for me. You don't have to have full custody of your kids, but you have to be active. Okay. So, um, is the goal marriage this time? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So the request is a man, um, ideally six, four, if not six, four, over six feet, yes. make at least a hundred K and marriage is the goal. How come marriage wasn't the goal before you had your other children? Uh, the first one I was young. Um, and it just, I mean, I don't want to get married to get divorced. I've seen it too many times. And instead of me um, setting myself up for that, and obviously, you know, it, it wasn't that marriage was proposed prior to me getting pregnant. It was honestly after I got pregnant. So, you know, um, and and once I got pregnant, you know, not that it was too late, but it was just like, okay, I've seen signs after that that I didn't like. And it's not something that I wanted to live with for the rest of my life. And I needed to be honest with myself. So instead of me just marrying just to say, I was married, nah, I'd rather wait and raise my kids and for them to be great beings, which they are, thank God. No, and I, and I respect that completely, but just in full transparency, you did it three times. So I understand, like, I think people will understand like the first time, but then two more times with two different men, you still went down that same route. So what made, okay. what made you change now the standard would be you would have to be married first. Um, it's not that it's not that the standard was different then. Um, it's just that after after I got pregnant, like it's I, you see a whole different side of people sometimes, and it's a side that I didn't like. So, okay, you know, to each his own. Totally got it. And then you said a hundred k. Would you date a man that made less, or that's the that's non negotiable? Um. For the lifestyle that 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 we that we live in, with that that's non-negotiable. At okay. least, uh, yeah, that that would be a minimum. Okay. Do you and know they have they money? Make? So so it's not only about money. Like they they have money, but it's just it. You know, it's money can't keep you. However, money can definitely help to keep the household together. I understand. You normally date men that make a hundred k. I'm assuming. At more than that, absolutely. So what's going on with these men? Why you can't make it work with them? Um, because now it seems like some of them they just that that's not what they're they come in with the intention of saying you know that that's what they want a long term relationship or you know that they're leading to, they want to lead to marriage. However, that's really not what it is. Like I just uh, previously dated or went out with um, a doctor, and it wasn't the fact that that he you know he wasn't accepting of me having children and all those things however um our our our, our goals did not align so that it, you it guys wasn't were dated or you were in a relationship no we dated no are you dated no. okay yes okay. yes okay got you all right 100k is the minimum she dates men that make more let's do the kendra cam oh okay hold on let me I just got in for my daughter's basketball game, so hold on one second. Girl, just for you, just hold up the camera and step back. Let me see. Wait a second. Uh, all right, there we go. Okay, we see the no, booty. <laughs> yes, no, mom. Is that? <laughs> I hear your daughter. No, mom. <laughs> right, right. Let me show her. She like absolutely not. <laughs> 
So Jasmine Houston, Texas, 42, Pisces, or mom to three. What's the age range you would date? Ooh. Um, okay, so my girlfriend is gonna be like Jasmine, really. However, I say um nowadays there are men who are quite mature at between 35 and up. Ooh. Um so and and they honestly a lot of them I have found are really looking to settle down and they're okay or they actually like older women um two of my kids dads are younger um however they have a younger mind frame so <laughs> well younger I mean, I mean that's a, they probably have the mind frame they're supposed to have right the younger uh, no, 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 no. They, they, they didn't have like a young man's mind frame. They had a boy's mind frame. So, okay. so, so I need somebody who actually has a man's mind frame now. So I want somebody who's 35, but a mature 35. And honestly, like I'm on dating apps and it's 22, 28 year olds. And I'm like, oh no, anything that's 20, that's a no for me. My son has a two in front of his, no, he's 20. I don't want nobody with a two nine, two eight, two seven, nothing. Too young for me. Okay, too so young for her. All right, when was your last relationship, Jasmine? Ooh, my last real relationship was probably about two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? I would uh like to not answer. Uh, that oh, one. Jasmine? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Oh, oh god, I hope the static isn't back. Say it again. Oh, was it me? Oh, yeah. Um, no, it, it just went out for a second. Okay. Um, okay. Let me repeat the question. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I, re I I would like not to answer that. Okay. No worries. What are three flaws you have to work on, honey? Ooh. Um. Number one is trust. Okay. Um, I definitely need to get better with trust in people. Uh, my second one is I am loyal to a fault. Um, so I, I, I know it seems like it's a great thing. However, like I'm one of those people, even when you do me wrong, like I'm still loyal to you. So I want to just get out of that funk of continuing to, to run that cycle of loyalty to the wrong people. Let me say that. Um, my third, mm, what would it be? Um, oh my gosh, my my daughter's in the background saying not 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 being uh not not having an attitude or <laughs> this is a nine year old daughter. Absolutely, it is. <laughs> she is smarter beyond her years. So her turning double digits tomorrow is really in her head. Okay, <laughs> not the nine year old daughter. Okay, not not having attitude. Okay, Jasmine, so you said the goal is marriage now, correct? Yes, absolutely. What qualities make you a wife? Oh my gosh, my nurturing, um, uh, of course, I mean, still my loyalty and just my love, my love and my laughter. Um, one of my cousins who actually sent, who told me that I needed to come on this show and watch you, um, like they, they yes, Stephen, um, him and his sister always talks about me and my laugh. Like I have a laugh that is so infectious and it doesn't take a lot to honestly make me happy. Um, you know, just, just the subtleness and being, being true to you and who you are and being true to me and, in a true relationship. I think that it is not a lot. Okay. Listen, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Jasmine? Uh, well, first of all, look at me. <laughs> the most confident people on my show time. Absolutely. Um, secondly, like, again, just, I am a motivator. So if you are looking for a partner who's going to be on your team and motivate you to the next level, I am definitely she. She is me. So, I mean, you can't get any better than this. Um, what? You can't know, get any better, you said. You, you cannot get any better than this. Fact. <laughs> I love, listen, I love the confidence. Jasmine, if I make you a highlight, I want you to respond to this because I saw some of the comments and I'm going to give you a chance to respond for yourself. 
What would you say to the people that are going to be watching? You know, you have a six four, you know, request. If not six four, six feet makes at least a hundred k. Some people will say that would be a delusional request for you of a mom with three by three men. What would you say to that? I would say check my track record. I mean, it's not it's not hard. Like, um, you know, it, it may be delusional to them because perhaps it's not in 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 their foresight or perhaps it's something that they've never had before. However, I've had that in my past. Um Again, the one I just dated was six four, and he made over a hundred k. It's just but, that, there, but, but are you trying to date now, or are you trying to get married? Because there's two different no, categories. No, no, no. I'm dating with the intention to get married. Um, but well, you, but I feel you have to date first in order to get to know somebody. Just to be fair, we check your track record. You never had that in a marriage dynamic, though. Correct? Absolutely. No, I have not. Okay. I think that's where the challenge becomes because, you know, dating this man, you can probably, I think you're a beautiful woman. You have a beautiful face. You're in shape. You're keeping yourself up. You know, dating and marriage are two different categories. So we got to decide who's the pool of men that we can date and who is the pool of men that are trying to marry us. Absolutely. And, and that's where, that's where, that's where the fine line comes in. And, and that's why I was so easily, um able to cut the doctor off because it's just like th th this is not going the way that that I foresee it going and again I'm not getting I'm not dating and I'm not I'm not desperate so that's what I want people to also understand I'm not desperate I mean I have plenty of people in my inbox however they are not the ones that are marriage material to me and if, I mean, if some of them are out there, they're doubtful, tell them don't, I can send them their way, but it's just not for me. Woo! She said, if you need some men, she can send the men that want her your way. <laughs> I can help a sister out. <laughs> now it's going to be up to them to keep them, but <laughs> I'm good on it. I'm good on it. So, you know, it, it's, it, people, people have their own, I mean, they, they have their own things that they like and what they're willing to deal with. And it's a lot of things that I've learned about myself that I'm not willing to deal with. Got you. All right, let's do it. So we got Jasmine Houston, Texas. Do you want the guy to be in Houston? I would prefer for him to be, yes, in, in Houston or somewhere in the, in the area. Absolutely. Or you know what? He can be willing to travel. If he is willing to travel, I am A-OK -okay with that. However, he needs to make sure that he's going to be willing to move also. I am not going to um, say that, that I'm willing to move to a D.C. or anything like that. Not that it's not a beautiful place because they all are. I have traveled everywhere and my children have traveled with me. And please have a passport. If you're making that much money and you can't travel, that's a problem. <laughs> so please have a passport. Okay, please have a passport, child. Don't play with Miss Jasmine. All right, so we got Jasmine Houston, Texas, Pisces, uh, 42. What was the age range you would date? Uh, I, I say my daughter's over here prepping me, 35 and up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did tell me that. We talked about that. She um, caters, oh, excuse me, she creates and designs. And you are open to having more children, you said, if you get married. Absolutely. All right, let's do it, Jasmine. How can the guy reach out to you, honey? Uh, they can reach out to me on actually on uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and it's all that. under my business name. Um, so it's J L J Concierge. I'm gonna spell it out: C O N C I E R G E Services S E R V I C E S at whatever the uh, platform they want to reach me reach out at me on. Say it for the people one more time. J, now these are just initials. J L J C O N C I E R G E Services S E R V I C E S at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Snapchat. I'm all there. Not Snapchat. <laughs> My coach in the background, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, baby girl, will you keep me posted out with ghosts, honey? Thank you. Oh, wait, one more thing. No, um, Smokers. no, no, 
no transgenders, please and thank you. I just received a message and um, that I appreciate you all. And I, it, it's what a flattering compliment, but no, thank you. You, so was it from a transgender man? Yes. But born a woman? Yes. Okay, so no transgender men reach out to her. Please, no. <laughs> All right, Jasmine, honey. Well, you listen, you keep me both out with ghost girl. I definitely will. Kendra, I remember you in Chicago when when we were there. So <laughs> I yes, lived there I just for- I left Chicago less than a year ago. It's yeah, been that's about what seven months. Huh? Congratulations, girl. And congratulations on your relationship. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are so very welcome. <laughs> All right. Bye, babe. Bye. Have a good one. You too.